Hi, this is Ankur Jain from LearnQTP.com. This video is not really about QTP, but if you work on your computer for several hours every day, I'm sure you're going to love this video. Today I'm going to show you a nice and free tool that can help you automate many repetitive tasks at hand. I've been using this tool for more than a year now and it was recommended by one of my online gurus and I've got addicted to it since then. First let me show you some quick demos on how and where I use this tool. So I'm on my favorite editor Notepad++. What is the first thing you do when you start your computer in the morning? You must be opening your personal email accounts, your official email accounts, your Twitter, your Facebook account. The normal process would be you will go to your favorite browser, you will open a tab, you will type in the URL, you will open the second tab, you will type in the second URL and so on and so forth. How about you automate this process? So instead of doing all this manually, you use some kind of automation to open the browser, open various tabs and launch applications. So to show you the demo, uh, I'll just hit two keys on my keyboard and it will launch a Firefox browser and it will open four websites in different tabs. So as you can see here, after pressing the two keys on my keyboard, uh, this automated program has launched uh, the Firefox browser and it has launched four different web application in different tabs. Similarly, you can extend this, this concept to open a frequently used folder. Again, I'll hit uh, a couple of keys on my keyboard and it will open the demo folder. You want to type in frequently used URLs. You know, at times people will ask me about uh, where are the FAQs for QTP training. So instead of typing in the whole URL or, you know, remembering the whole URL, I will just type in four letters Q F A Q and it will expand to QTP training FAQs.pdf, the whole link for the QTP training FAQs. Or for that matter, people will at times ask me for the link to my uh, QTP forums. I will type in three letters F R M and it will expand to QTP forums or the main blog LQTP. You may be having a number of email addresses and for those email addresses you must you must be using email signatures. So how about having different email signatures for different email addresses? If I need to write my email signature I'll just type in three letters SIG and it will give me the whole signature. If someone is uh, emailing me on my learnqtp.com address, I'll just type in SIG1 and it will give me the full signature along with the URL of my learnqtp blog. Some courtesy snippets. I need to write down, uh, feel free to let me know if you need some more information. I'll type in three letters FFT and it will give me the whole text. PLM. Please let me know if you need some more information. I get regular emails from people wanting to do training and most of the times these questions are repeated. One of the questions is what to do once the trial is expired after 30 days. I will write after 30 the word after 30 and it will show the full text of the question as well as answer. So this is going to save me a lot of time. Extended this concept to the email addresses. I need to type in my email address. I will say T at G. That's my personal email address. A at L, that's my learnqtp.com email address. So, opportunities are endless with this tool and they are just limited by your imagination. Once this tool is installed, it will work anywhere and 
everywhere on, on your Windows based machine, be it your browser, your notepad, your Word document or your Excel file. I think this tool is not going to work on your Mac system. You just need to download and install this free tool called AutoHotKey and it is available at www.autohotkey.com. I have also included a free template that you can use and mo modify for your requirements. So I hope you like this video and the tool I introduced here. Please leave your comments below and let me know how you intend to use this tool. Thank you.